Maggie the farm dog is about seven and a half years old. At around this age, dog's eyesight can begin to dim, and that's for some breeds. When Mimi started having trouble climbing the steps, I installed motion sensor lights that threw light on the steps from the garage to the house. Maggie is starting to have trouble with the steps, except when I use a high-powered light to help her see better. This meant that I needed to add more light on the steps for Maggie. I wanted it motion sensing and very bright. The Braun 7000 lumen light with motion sensor seemed to be the answer. Thankfully, Harbor Freight is starting to include color temperatures with the stats. This is exactly what I needed to light the steps for Maggie. So let's do a talk about on this light as you see me install the light and what I think about it as a shop light. Hello anyone, I'm Scott Bain. They call me the old farmer. Maggie has become very hesitant climbing the steps from the garage to the house. We do have a side light that comes on when someone starts climbing the steps, but this didn't seem to be enough light for Maggie. She is a rescue dog that came from an Ohio breeder through an adoption center in South Bend, Indiana. I have created a playlist that contains videos pertaining to both Mimi and Maggie. I wish I had the Braun 7000 lumen 2 foot motion sensing LED light fixture for Mimi. Since this is a new light and being bright, I thought this would do the trick for Maggie. Installation was easy. All the parts for a typical installation is included. You can mount the light on chains or direct mount it. Three additional lights can be ganged together. I must be honest, I don't know if it's actually 7,000 lumens or not, but it's bright without a doubt. Harbor Freight calls it a two foot light, but it's actually 23 and a quarter inches. It is well made, better than some of the other hanging lights I've installed, including Harbor Freight's. The easiest way to install is by hanging the lights. I've learned from past experience that you install the brackets and pinch the ends so that they won't come off while you're trying to hang the light. I've needed an elevator in the past, hanging lights this way. Always something would fall and I would be up and down the ladder. The wire used for these brackets is spring steel, so it takes a bit of an effort to squeeze the ends so that they won't slip out. I didn't use the chains, but I hooked the light directly to the hooks that were provided. The electrical cord could have been a bit longer, but I made do. It was one of the fastest light installs I have done. Quite easy without the chains. You may have to use the chains that are provided. I wanted it hanging above the door into the house, and so I measured so that it would be in the middle of the doorway. There is an off-on switch and an adjustable timer from 1 minute to 10 minutes. I didn't time the light, most times the light needs a lot of Kentucky windage to set to an accurate time. I set it for the minimum amount of time, it seems close to 1 minute. I have to say this light is perfect for this situation and it's well built. But I have to say also, I do not recommend it for a shop light, such as over a workbench. Two feet is just too short. There are better options for over a workbench. Second is the color of the light. Again, I want to thank Harbor Freight. They are now including the color temperature of the lights in some of the stats. This light is the wrong color temperature for a shop light or a work light. Harbor Freight could have made the color temperature 5,000 Kelvin, or for those in elected office, daylight. This light would be called cool light. It's not right for a work area, and not right for a subdued area of living space where a color temperature of 2,400 to 3,400 Kelvin would be a better choice. The lights over my workbench are 4,000 Kelvin, and I do not like it. 
I can't match colors. It tires the eyes out and it makes it harder to do videos. I thought they were 5K lights when I bought them. I bought four and I will be switching them out. I wouldn't even use such lighting in a laundry area. This is also an important location that needs 5K light so that you can see if there's a problem with a piece of laundry. But for an entranceway, such as what I'm using it for, it's absolutely a perfect light. But go with at least 5K lighting for work, kitchen, and laundry areas. And yes, you can also have accent lighting in the kitchen for mood lighting. As for Maggie, she loves the new light and can see where to step. Mrs. Old Farmer, Marty likes it too. Before we go, it's important to quickly mention for all who are visiting to subscribe, ring the bell, leave a comment, and share with friends and family. Now for the most important part, thank you to those who have subscribed. Thank you. And yes, thank you to those who are visiting. We value you too. We're trying to reach 1,000 subscribers so that we may receive a pittance from YouTube to cover expenses. We replaced one camera, tripod, and bought a water-cooled editor for video production, plus all the tools we review. So if you could help us reach that 1,000 subscription point, thank you. Well, this is the old farmer Scott Bain. Be well, be safe, and be kind to someone. The VFW National Home for Children, providing families of veterans and active duty military opportunities for growth and development in a nurturing community. Please consider a donation to help their children and families. Icy Road speaking.